is coming. Hallelujah. Praise Yah. Shalom, shalom, shalom. I do hope everyone is doing well. I just want to come with a quick word of encouragement, especially to women. My sisters, daughters of Zion, I want to encourage you today to press. Press. Philippians 3 and 13 to 14 said, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press towards the mark of the prize of the high calling of Yah in Masiach, Yahshua. Hallelujah. We got to press. There's a lot going on. Um, stressful. Persons losing their jobs. Many women are being evicted and it is sad and it is disturbing. So I prayed and I said, Father, I don't want to speak out of my own flesh, out of my emotions. Give me something to say to women to encourage them. And the word he gave me on yesterday was to press. And press means to move or cause to move into a position of contact with something by exerting continuous physical force. Pressing require you to be forceful, to, to exert yourself, to be determined. You have to make up your mind that look here, come with me. I am going to make it, that I am not going under, I am going over. This thing that has come, it came to pass. It didn't come to take me. I am going to walk through it. Because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So I want to encourage you today to press, to be encouraged, to um, trust in the Most High, to rely on Him. You know, there are some words I want to share with you from the word press. P, persevere. Continue in a course of action even in the face of difficulties or with little or no indication of success be persistent be persistent resolve settle or find a solution to a problem or continuous matter decide firmly on a course of action you've got to be resolved make up your mind make a decision this is what I'm going to do and stick with it. You know, the scripture said a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. Don't think he will receive anything from the Most High. But regardless of what you're going through, make a decision. This is what I'm going to do. I am going to trust Yah in this and I'm resolved. My mind is made up. Nothing is going to change that. Endure. Suffer patiently. Remain in existence. Last. Persevere. The scripture said, He that endure to the end shall be saved. Endure. It require your will. It may be painful. You may have to cry. Listen, I just cry. I've had to endure. Everything I'm saying to you, I've had to do. Driving some days, I'm crying. But I'm determined to go through. So, this suffer patiently, endure. Because we have to endure. We, I, some of us have been enduring for a long time. Scripture said, we can may endure for a night. So, we know but enduring. But joy comes in the morning. Suffer patiently remain in existence stay alive don't give up last persevere submit obey be under obedience put on the subdue be in subjection to accept or yield to a superior force or to the authority or will of another person we don't like to submit Women, we don't like to submit. Wives, don't like to submit. 
I encourage women married to first submit to the Ruah. It's difficult to submit to your husband. This is just a side note. If you're not submitted to the Ruah. No woman can submit to a man without first submitting to the Ruah. That's a side note. But for us women, we have to submit to the Ruah. Not my will, but thy will be done. It requires humility. You got to humble yourself. Okay? Only the strong can submit. Submission is not weak. People can't submit. Don't let nobody fool you and think you weak because you submitting. It takes a lot of strength to give up your own will, to give up your desires, um, your mind and makeup and everything else. And, and the father saying, you know something, release it. You didn't do everything you can do now. Surrender. Submit it to me. Let it go. Throw up your hand and say, Father, I release this to you. I'm going to submit to your will. I'm going to let you take control of this situation. I'm not going to fight in this no more. I can try to do it my way and do it. And, and, no, relax. Just submit. Submit to the process. Submit to the process. And when you don't do all of that, stand. Stand. Abide. Appoint. Bring. Continue. Covenant. Establish. Hold up. Stand. Shh. Put your foot in the ground. Dig your toe in the sand. Stand. Take a particular position or an attitude towards a particular issue whatever you're dealing with you then now make up your mind you resolve you're enduring you submit stand put on the whole armor having done everything after you have persevered resolved endure submit stand having your learns girded about with truth having on the breastplate of righteousness your feet shod with the, the shield of belief wherewith you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the enemy the element of salvation cover your mind and the sword of the ruah which is the word of yah you gotta be prepared to fight look here this in the time to get slain in the spirit this is the time to stand up and fight you're in a war. You're in a war for your soul. Women, you have children. You're fighting for your children. This is a test. We're all going through this test. But we've got to press. The Father is saying to us, listen, persevere, resolve, endure, submit, and stand. Knowing that He is going to stand with you. Knowing that He is not going to let you fall. You understand me? He's not going to leave you with help. He's going to su sustain you. He's going to make a way. He's just asking you to trust him. Press through it. Don't give up. Don't give in. Don't go under. Don't compromise, women. There are some predators out there. You understand me? Who want to treat you like a spitting bucket for a couple dollars. Don't compromise. You, this is a woman. I could tell you some stories. I know them. They can't do nothing for you unless they want a piece, they say, or a slice. I find it so offensive. Or, you know, you, you're paying your rent. You have your children. I could give you a couple dollars. They want to reduce you down to a cheap prostitute. Persevere. You understand me? Persevere. Resolve. Endure. Submit and stand don't give in don't give in and don't give up trust the mosai to be your provider to be your sustainer look you don't have a better man than the mosai i could tell you that's my man don't matter what they call him what they say i've proven him that he will come through he just requires you sometime you gotta wait because he's testing you to see wait on him trust him don't let no man come with his little smooth mouth and you only get a pleasure for two, three minutes. And then you gone, he gone, and you still back to square one. You still need the father to come and pick you up and comfort you. And do. So you might as well just wait. Listen, it ain't worth it. You might as well just wait. You might as well wait. Remember the story with the woman with the history of the blood. She did everything now that I'm telling you to do. 
You understand me? This lady had to press. The scripture told us that she pressed through the crowd. She had to persevere. 12 years that woman was bleeding. I believe for three months straight. She was bleeding for 12 years. She had to resolve in her mind. Listen to me. I make up my mind. I can get to him. No matter how this crowd here. She was moving through. You understand me? No matter how they push her on the side. That woman endured and salt. Oh, what you going? You here and I all of us trying. She endured all of that. You understand me? And when she got there, she submitted. She knew what she was doing. She surrendered. When the father, Yeshua, told her, who touched me and, and whatever, she surrendered. I did. Because I had this need. And she stood in faith, believing that he was going to have mercy upon her. You understand me? We got to take the position of the woman with the issue of blood. Whatever your issue is, you press through like she did. Press through. There was another woman, the woman who... Um, Elijah she only had a little oil and she used her faith this was the man of Yah I got a little oil and a little flour and he said to her listen take care of me and watch we got to walk in faith you understand me she didn't go looking for no sugar daddy she didn't go looking for a sugar daddy and when the neighbor come out, a neighbor come one time saying, oh, I could get an apartment for you and, and me and, and two bedroom. I look at him like he was crazy. I didn't even know. I, you and I know. I, no. I don't need you to do that. You understand me? I waited. Just like the woman with the, the little bit of salt, the little bit of flour. She was going to cook that. She said her and her son was going to die. She rather died and to go out there and be a cheap prostitute. And they had Alice back in those days. Ray Abdem was there. But she made up her mind. Look, if this would I come down to, then this would be going to do. I see when you take a position and you're not willing to compromise. And you said, like one time I said, I said, Father, either you come to me or I come into you. You understand me? Make up your mind. Be resolved. I tell people, listen to me. I resolve. Ain't nothing you could do with me right now. I have made up my mind. I've dig my toe in the sand. This me. I'm pressing through. If the Father can do it, it can be done. If He can provide for me, then I don't need it. And so I want to encourage you today. Press, women. Press. You're the only one going through. You understand me? What you going through, there's nothing new under the sun. I know it's hard. I was there. I know about crying. Waking up crying, going to sleep crying. I was crying one time. I didn't realize I was crying until the snot fall down and it frightened me. You understand me? So take it from me. Yah is faithful. He will not leave you defenseless. Call on him. Trust him. Trust him. This is a new month. Forget whatever happened in the past. You understand me? Forget whatever. Don't let nobody hold you or stitch your past. You may have done some stuff. We all did some stuff. I did some stuff. And I told somebody, I said, listen, no matter how low I go, I, I always make reference to that woman with the issue of blood. Sweetie, I can hold on to the hem is coming. I can hold on there. You understand me? But I ain't gonna let nobody hold me hostage to what is behind me. Don't let nobody hold you. So you may have done it. That's over. You don't have to live there. When they come saying, but then you're used to doing You think you, yeah, I did it. That was then. But this is now. I made up my mind now that I can wait. I, I learned from that. It doesn't work. I make up my mind now that I am going to wait for him. It's a song I think that said, I don't mind waiting no matter how long it takes. I can wait. Wait, women. Let's wait. The father is great. He's worth the wait. See, and when the little Negro come in with a couple dollars, the father can bring one man who willing. Listen. <laughs> he can bring one man who get everything you need and more than a couple dollars. You understand? He can bring a man who's willing to be your covering. Who know what his purpose is. Who know that his purpose is to cover, protect, provide. You understand? And love you like he love himself. Don't settle for the little jack by night or who, who's going around in the night like um, 
I don't know. Don't don't let them don't let them trick you. Don't let them trick you. You wait. I wait. See, I get to talk about this because I know. I didn't know what I didn't have to. I, listen, it was a great test. I was on my knees. And I said, Father, listen to me. And just before I start doing these videos, great test. You understand me? And I remember when I was on my knees when the man called. He got, I said, no, sweetie, don't come here. <laughs> don't come here, buddy. No. Mm -mm. Don't come here. You ain't prepared to commit? What you coming here for? No, don't come here. I, I press my beach, right? I can't, you can't keep going round in circles. Let's press. So you talking to someone who know. You understand me? And I said the other day to myself, Father, what if I had? Because he got everything. Not like when you didn't pray, you know. <laughs> you didn't pray and say, Father, I want this, that, and that. And the man come just out. You pray and you ask. But the only thing he don't want to do is cover. He don't want to commit. You understand me? Child, I ain't trying to know. I said, anyway, no. Let me, I, I could wait. I could wait. And so I want to encourage you. Press your way through. Press your way through. That's what the Father wants me to say to women today. Press. Don't give in. Don't give up. Don't settle. Don't be nobody's spitting bucket. You understand me? You are worth more than two, three minutes and forty dollars or whatever they try to give you. You worth more than that. You understand? And when most high, when I ya uh, come through, he come in full force. There's there's a blessing in the wait. Okay? So, sisters, this is my word to you today. And I've never asked people to share. But if you know someone that's going through, share it with them. Let's encourage each other. We have to encourage, I, listen, let's encourage each other. Women, let's encourage each other. You understand? That was little cliches they had about who was the better woman or all that stuff. We all women. My um, mother, Christian, used to tell me a drowning woman holds on to a straw. You understand? All of us have had our moments of weakness. We are all emotional. So let's not think you ain't been through and you all all of that. Listen, we all women, we all have children. We all know what it is to want to take care of our children. Let's encourage each other to press and wait on ya. Hallelujah. Be blessed. Shalom. Hallelujah.